Wendy Lowe, and I'm excited to journey with you as we learn how to take your health back. We are coming to you live from my home office in Makiki and from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii, which is located in downtown Honolulu. Today, I have invited a returnee to my show. He's a dear friend. His name is Anthony Crisco, who is the developer of the Fashionator Roller. What is a Fashionator Roller and what is fascia? Well, that's what we're going to be discussing today, and we're going to learn all about that right here on this show. We're also going to learn about fascia self-care during this pandemic. Just know that your fascia needs you. So you need your fascia, and he'll explain that to us later. We want to ask you, are you doing all the important things for your physical and mental health during this time of uncertainty? Ask yourself that and be honest now. One thing is certain, the Fashionator method of rolling will empower you to boost your immune system, improve your mobility, reduce your age and activity related aches and pains without the need for medication or invasive procedures, all from your home. And I'm all for that. Now, did I get your attention or what? So let's get started and get Anthony Crisco on and going as we welcome him, Mr. Fashionator himself. Welcome, Anthony Crisco. Hi, Aloha, how are you, Wendy? <laughs> Aloha and welcome back. I tell you, I love having you on because everybody needs you. And I know that for a fact because wherever I walk and wherever I am, if I see somebody limping or rubbing their leg or arm, I'm like, Anthony, you got to find this guy or like, hey, and I give him my number. Hey, give me a call. I can introduce you to someone who can help you feel a lot better. So let's get started. So why is your fascinator different than, than a typical foam roller, Anthony? Well, it's funny you ask. I happen to have one right here. Yay! It is a fascinator. And uh -huh. you'll notice it's smaller and hear that it's a lot firmer than your typical foam roller what we've learned over the last eight years since we invented the fashionator is most of these foam rollers they're too soft i'll give you an example have you ever tried to shave your legs with a rusty razor <laughs> don't want to go there <laughs> right or even worse you ever try to cut a tomato with a dull knife it's just like eh, it's Ooh, not working you get salsa <laughs> well, um, I do a lot of private one-on-one -on -one sessions, and a lot of the times these people have their old rollers ready to go, and as soon as they use the Fashionator, they're like, geez, this thing, it's amazing. I've never felt this much release with my old roller. So that's the difference. It's smaller, which allows our seniors in particular to have a better center of gravity on the floor so they don't worry about falling over, but more importantly, the, di the diameter, the size is designed to fit in these smaller spaces. As you can see in the next slide, there's an image here with just four basic uh, positions that we do. And mm -hmm. as you can see in the top left one, that's this area in the neck, it's called the sternocleidomastoid. Well, under that muscle, there's a bunch of nerves that go to your senses, your eyes, ears, nose, throat, and all your organs. We use that technique to help people with vertigo, tinnitus, Bell's palsy, idiopathic coughing, as well as vagus nerve issues, which affect the organs. Uh, the other one where you're laying on the underarm here for the, uh, the shoulder area, latissimus area, that's to help people with frozen shoulder, but it also helps women with edema in their arms who mm. had lymph node removal surgery for breast cancer. And then on the bottom, uh, we know lots of people who have arthritic hands in arthritic conditions. They can't close their hand or they have deputrin's contracture. It's like a deformation of the palm. We use those areas on the forearm to free up the hands and improve their mobility and their strength as well. So as you can see, that's just a sample. Uh, the last one is we roll around the butt area. That has been used to help many, many people get rid of their sciatica. So much so, they actually cancel their surgeries on their back because the sciatic issue was never in the spine, you see? Wow. You know, when I was preparing for this, I was thinking, hey, we should coin a term called Zoom butt. I got Zoom butt, you know, because I'm on Zoom all day long. So as soon as I can take a break, I get my roller, 
ergonomic chair and I'm rolling out my glute, my butt, because I don't want Zoom butt. <laughs> True story, me too. Every time I'll be doing like a five hour class, you know, the Philippines and you get up like, oh, yeah. <laughs> not fun. Right. And no. we don't want to we don't want to look old, feel old. We just want to keep going as best as we can. And we got to take care of that fascia. And you taught me well because I'm a I'm a, a product of you, <laughs> and truly a product of you. So now during this COVID pandemic, how would or how have you adjusted your outreach to help our community? Well, as you know, we used to have the most packed class at the, the former Honolulu Club, and sadly yes. it closed, uh, you know, our hearts were yes. broken. Yes. But because of these changes that were out of our control, we said, you know, how do we get to our people and help them maintain themselves? So just like the rest of the world, we said, well, why don't we try this Zoom thing out? And so, yes, ever since the first lockdown in March, I've been teaching my Zoom classes six days a week, and it's an hour long. And as you can see on the slide there, that's what the Zoom class looks like. Now, <laughs> the view that you see there is the gallery view where you can see every single person. Right. The, the Zoom class works when I'm teaching it. I put it on the spotlight. So, yes, I'm in the spotlight. And what my students who would come to my live classes said after starting the Zoom during the lockdown, they said, you know, Anthony, I learned so much more in the Zoom class because number one, I'm home and I can see your whole body in the right position <laughs> and I can hear you and I don't have to try to peek over the crowds of people that got here before me. So right. that's the benefit is we're helping our seniors and our loved ones and our friends that we had at oh. the clubs. We're still helping them maintain their health not just physically, but mentally as well, because I'm sure you all know during this time, there's been a rise in depression and drug use and drinking and anxiety. Well, your fascia, when you care for it, it cares for you by reducing your stress levels. Wow. And I'm so grateful that you're con continuing to have your classes on Zoom. But I got to ask you, do you miss all the the moaning and the groaning you know like when we start rolling our body i tell people your body doesn't hurt when you just touch it but when you start rolling it out and opening up the fascia i tell you your body is saying thank you thank you and they re just such um, sounds or sighs of relief that you're actually paying attention to the most important organ in your body so i was wondering do you miss all that moaning and groaning in the class it's funny you mentioned that. The best part about Zoom is if there's someone who's moaning a little too much, I can put the mute on them. Mute. <laughs> okay, that would be me. <laughs> okay, so the Fashionator method does not just target the muscles. Can you tell us what other structures the Fashionator and Fashionator method target? Well, I have a model and we have the actual slide. So if you can see this slide here, what you're looking at is a representation of how the arteries, nerves, veins, and lymphatic vessels travel throughout your body. And that loofah that you're looking at, <laughs> that is, that's your lower leg. All those blood vessels and nerves and arteries and veins are traveling through your body, surrounded by this tissue, the fascia, that just so you know, wraps every cell and every, every structure in your body. So if you look at the top part of that image, you can tell where the blue arrow is, it is slightly crimped or being smashed because the, sp the sponge is dry. Do you see how it's kind of compressed? Yes. Well, that compression of blood vessels and nerves and lymphatic vessels that can lead to edema or swelling that can lead to neuropathy or numbness and tingling in hands and feet. It can also lead to other blood supply issues where if you're not getting oxygen to your tissues, right? You're letting bad things happen. And we don't have to go into detail. All you have to do is go to the store and look at people's feet. They got purple feet, varicose yes. veins, they're wearing leg yes. braces, they're doing all these things because yes. they're ignoring the fascia. Yes, I see that all the time and I feel I'm like so much as I tapped him on the shoulder and I said, hey, how are you doing today? And if they start talking to me, Anthony, I just, I tell them all about fascia and what they should be doing. And if they're open to it, that's how I get people to start taking their health back. So yes, I'm the one that will tap someone on the shoulder to get them um, help. 
um, I think it's so important. Well, so, you know, go back to that slide one more time, because I want to uh -huh. um, talk about what happens after you roll. So uh -huh. after you roll, you notice, isn't the space where that blue arrow, isn't it a little bigger? Yeah. So what happens when we roll the tissues, the body sucks up more fluid into those fascial structures oh. and that allows the tissue to hydrate, which then removes that internal pressure off of the arteries, veins, nerves, lymphatic vessels. So this is how we restore circulation, improve mobility, decrease pain sensitivity, and basically enjoy an overall well-being of healthy goodness. I tell you, I, I, I'm a firm believer in this, and I, I, you don't know how many people I share this with, um, because doing trade shows and standing on your feet all day for eight or 10 hours, I used to take aspirin to take away the pain. No more. Since I met you, no more aspirin, no more anything, because I just roll it out. And they go, really? Is that all you got to do? I'm like, yes, your body just needs you to need it exactly that anthony yes and it's not like even with the hand thing it's the whole idea of rolling it evenly and opening up the circulation so heck I, i'm a believer right. <laughs> so, thank you very much yes you know we hear a lot about the lymphatic drainage and inflammation can you explain to our viewers what the fascinator does with regards to the lymphatic system very good yes yeah. so in the image there, you can see the lymph capillaries and the, it, those lymphatic uh, vessels, they live within and between the tissue spaces. So you want to think like your lymphatic system is like the gutters of your home. So we just had a big downpour yesterday, right? <laughs> and I noticed in my own gutter, there was some debris clogging the gutter as it was going to the street. So I took out the valve and I dug out the weeds that were growing in there. And guess what kind of water came out? Guess what color that water was? I don't it was even black. want to get it. Yeah, it and did black. it smell? <laughs> it was stagnant. So to answer your question, when we are stagnant because we can't move because of this lockdown, old cellular waste builds up in our lymphatic system. So I want you to think, it's like if you cleaned a fish, you just went fishing, you clean that fish, but you left the fish carcass in your rubbish in your kitchen for five yeah. days. How would that happen? <laughs> yeah, not good. <laughs> so rolling your tissues, especially in the lymphatic areas, and yes, our program focuses on the lymphatic areas on the uh, hip area, in the mm -hmm. abdominal space, in the underarm and neck. When we drain and facilitate these natural processes, our body purges that cellular waste at a higher rate. It's filtered through your lymph nodes. And then that clean fluid is allowed to return back to those structures. And that, what that does, it decreases the level of inflammatory waste. Mm -hmm. So imagine if I had too much of these old waste products that my cells were producing, my body will trend towards inflammation. Right. But if I remove some of these blockages and improve my filtration and my circulation, then I have a higher rate of clean fluid nurturing my tissues instead of stagnating my tissues. Does that make sense? Totally, Anthony. And you know, when you explain all of this to us and to your, you know, your students, uh, the participants, it, it, they understand it and they hear it again and again and again and then it sticks I mean just no different than myself I've learned so much from you and the simpleness of taking care of this body as we get older because you know um, I always tell people I'm not afraid to tell people my age because it's just a number but how do you feel as we get older as we accumulate numbers that's what matters to me I don't care if I'm 80 and I want to be pain-free drug-free and surgery free and right. that's the direction i'm working towards that's why i value what you have and that's why i said you got to come on to this show as often as you can to help others take their health back because it just is it's simple but they have to want want it right when they oh, want it they, they'll be successful at it it's so funny you mentioned that because isn't it true wendy the people who really find us are the people who at their wits end or on their last leg and they've tried yeah. everything but yeah. now, oh, let me try this because I have nothing else to lose, right? Right. So, and and no pun intended, right, Anthony, on their last leg. 
Literally. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, because what is the source if they don't fix that fascia and then they get colors of black and blue and, and then amputation a lot of times would be an option. And so you are absolutely spot on when you say they are on their last leg because right. you can help that. And I've seen you do it so many times, Anthony. So I'm, I'm just excited for people to just receive this knowledge. So as, again, I know from a personal experience that you would pack any facility. Whenever I went to a class, it would be like, okay, I gotta get there early because I gotta save that little you know, spot, my favorite spot. So I'm excited, but now you're teaching totally on Zoom. So what, so tell me, what do your Zoom clients say about their ability to learn in this format? Now, not from your point of view, from their point of view, what is their re, uh, responses? Well, number one, they're like, you know, I don't have to wake up early and get dressed. I don't have to drive anywhere. I don't have to look for parking. I roll out of bed and I crawl on the floor. That's the first thing. So it saves time for them. Number two, they can see my full body doing all the positions, uh, whereas in a live class, let's say the class is 50 feet long and crowded like all these classes you see here. Sometimes people like to stay in the back because like, you know, I just, I just want to be in the back. But if you're in the back, you can't see the technique. So the Zoom class allows people, even the shy people, to be able to get the most out of the techniques. And then within the Zoom, there's a little chat box and they can send us little questions. And no one has to know and we can answer them offline. Uh, and of course, during this day and age, the last thing you want is 25 other people breathing around you because we don't know who's got what right now. Right. So it offers that safe space where you can breathe and we actually do practice deep breathing exercises as well as extra stretching because yeah. as we get more people involved and they keep showing up over and over, then the, the, the standard rolling routine is pretty much, everyone knows it and that allows me to expound on other things whether it's eating you know what are foods against inflammation whether it's extra stretching whether we talk about the diaphragm and breathing muscles and how the mechanics of breathing works i even ordered a full-size skeleton that stays behind me when i'm teaching my class oh. and someone says well what about my rib i go come here steve i called my skeleton steve <laughs> And I use my skeleton and this Zoom format as a, a place to teach not just fascia, not right. just rolling, but trying to teach everyone about how amazing their bodies yes. are. Yes. And that's exactly what I got out of every class. You, not, you, you take it down to our level. I know you got a lot of education out of Harvard for this. But you take it down to our level so we can understand it and we understand the hip bone is connected to the leg bone you know and it, it just just in my head whenever you're explaining all of this i i hear that song and so it makes it more um enjoyable and it sticks into my head because i, I truly understand what you're trying to teach us and share with us you know um i know that you, you you've got a great local following here but i also understand that you toured germany in the beginning of february of 2020 mm -hmm. what was this trip about and can you share with us about what you learned absolutely well this trip that i went to germany was part of the fascial net plastination project and i was on the team of people that are helping with the dissection but also we were there to learn the latest science in fascia. For example, did you know there are over 250 million sensory receptors in the fascial organ itself? Wow. <laughs> uh, the other thing we did, so if you can see on the image there, the gentleman in the black hat there, his name is Gunther von Hagens. He is the guy who started this whole plastination of human beings. So if you remember the bodies exhibit where they had all those bodies that were molded into different shapes, well, yeah. This was the actual facility where the bodies are prepared. And this trip I went on, it was my second time there in two years because it's the first project where they're actually plastinating the fascial pieces of these, of these cadavers. So we have this first cadaver that they were working on since 2018. It was a female. And on our trip there, we were uh, given a second cadaver to do another dissection of the fascial structures. This time it was a male. So 
the whole goal of this plastination project is kind of like what you're helping us do is to teach the importance of fascia to not just our local communities, but to the whole world. Because again, this is changing the game in how modern medicine functions. And we like to say, wouldn't you like to take care of yourself as best you can? So when you do need to see your doctor, he's not distracted by all these other little aches and pains that are bothering you every day. Right. Wow. So empowering, I tell you. Um, wherever I go, as I said, I, I was helping, I was volunteering at Chef Chai's restaurant the other day, and one of the volunteers came in and said, oh, I think I have gout. My, I have all my joints are in pain. And then he said it was diagnosed as the beginning stages of arthritis. And then I'm like, oh, I, I got to just listen to everything he tells me. I just got to, you know, just receive it before I can start. Ah! You got you to gotta meet Anthony. And I'm even wanting to have him do a class with you. And so um, we're in the process of him finding the time to do that because he's still very hard at work where he does work as he is an essential worker. So I will get him to your class one, one day and I'll let you know when. Right. Okay, and, and you know, I know you guys are so busy. You and Eileen both doing these classes, and I know some, sometimes I see your children there helping you. But I know that um, your wife Eileen wrote the book Pain Free Every Day. I mean, that book must be flying off the shelf because everybody's probably wanting to be pain free every day. Can you tell us about what will our viewers learn and where do they order this book? All right, well, this book was written to help people understand not just what we talk about in the one hour class, but it goes down a whole nother level into how the body's cells function against tension. So when you have stiff muscles and tissues, those tissues squeeze the cell, those cells can actually distribute different signals and trend again towards inflammation and even cancer, where if you modulate the tension and neutralize the, uh, the inflammation, your body won't have a tendency to trend towards inflammation and cancer and mutation. Rather, it likes to stay the same functioning person that we always were. And the book also goes deeper into, you know, how do you breathe properly? How do you eat right regarding the fascia and anti-inflammatory things? How do you appreciate what's in front of you? Do you get out in nature and ground yourself with the earth? Do you get in that ocean and let her squeeze you and hug you and take care of you? So this book, again, every day, pain-free every day, that's the goal. In order to reach that goal, she lays out the framework and the guidelines in order for you to be successful to be pain-free every day. It also is a little chapter in there, my favorite chapter, talks about when we first met when we were nine years old. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> that, that's the best chapter, of course. That's the beginning of it all, right? Right, right, right. right. And, and you know, that book, as simple as it is, just telling you, go into the ocean, hug the ocean, let the ocean hug you. That's so key. And it's free, guys. It's free. Going into the ocean and not just going in the ocean, but I believe walking barefoot on the sand and in the ocean with the vitamin D around us, I think in all combination adds to better health. And in itself, that's what I try to do every day. And, you know, I'm not a gym person, so it, the, the, this beach uh, concept really resonates well with me. And that's why I still boogie board um, a few times a week as much as I can. And I try to encourage people to take your slippers off and walk on the beach, on the sand, in the water. And that in itself, another great tip for all of us to do, just get out there more often. And it's free. <laughs> Bottom line, it's free, right? So... I talk all the time about fascia, fascinator classes, and the concepts of, so how can our viewers start taking care of their fascia now? Help us out. Let us know where we can get all this information. Well, if you're uh, watching right now, screenshot this slide here. That's, that's all the information for our fascinator classes. You can contact me at my cell number here, 227-6221. You could also email us at thefascinator.com. And remember, don't forget the, F-A-S-C-I-A. -A. If you forget <laughs> the A, it'll be the wrong web address. And uh, 
You can also uh, register for our Zoom classes on the link below. All you have to do is type it in your web browser and click it, and it gives you all the instructions. It'll give you the Zoom number, the password, and you can even order a, what we call the total inflammation package, which includes a face roller, the gua sha scraper. Yay, my favorite. And the fascinator as well as your choice of either the instructional DVD and or the uh, downloadable uh, link for the electronic version of the instructional manual. So this is the time you guys to take care of yourselves. Yes. What does the future hold? None of us know, but oh, all we know is what we can do for ourselves yes. and that's take care of your fashion. That's the first thing that I'm trying to do for all of us. Right. And that's so important. You know, like, like I keep referring to like yourself, Anthony, I'm on this zoom call sometimes up to seven to eight hours in a day all over the world. And I try to get up and I have, I don't even put my mat away anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. No one's here. I have my mat out all the time and I am looking at it right now. And so whenever I feel something like I need to take a break, I'll just go there, roll out my feet, roll up my, just my whole body. And the best part is when I ended with my head, guys, you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but trust me, it's better than a one hour massage. You're doing it in the comfort of your home. It's safe, it's secure, and it's the best feeling you're going to get, especially when you stand up, you just feel like a brand new person. And then I come back and I get, I, I, I'm refreshed and I get back to work. So if I didn't believe in it so greatly, I wouldn't have asked Anthony to keep coming back on this show so he could get the word out, but it truly is taking your health back and you have total control of that. And Wendy, there's one more thing. The sense of community that I've noticed with my, my students, some of them log in 15 minutes early and yes. they could be in Ohio and Florida, Arizona. I even have a woman in Taiwan who logs in. We even have someone from uh, Argentina and we have a gentleman, he's 79 years old. He logs in at my 6.30 night class, 6.30 p.m. It's already in Maine, it's already 12.30 in the evening, but he's logging <laughs> in and guess what? Everyone is talking about what they're yes. doing in their yard and their yes. kids. And yes. Not only are we providing this outlet for health, but yes. it's an outlet of community for our yes. seniors, especially. And that's so important. And we miss that so much, Anthony. And so oh, thank yeah. you for, for bringing that to all of us as well through your program. And we're getting well as well as we, we're doing it together. We're getting more well. And so thank you. Thank you. And, you know, I'm so excited about this next um, thing I want to talk to you about. I understand that you also expanded your Fashionator program to the dogs and their owners because the dogs are buddies. They need it, too. So what is petting with purpose? And do you have any stories about how it helped both dogs or the dogs and their owners? Oh, yes. Um, I ju we just picked up some vegetables from one of our friends today and her dog was supposed to die two years ago. And she's like, oh no, now she jumps on the bed. I massage her every night. I get her sternocleidomastoid. And the dog wears a diaper because her bladder used to leak. Guess what? No more leaking bladder. Yay! <laughs> I'll remind you, the vets told her your dog has one year to live and that was two years ago. So petting with purpose is me teaching dog owners about the anatomy of their dogs, including the fascia, so they too can enjoy a healthy, long, productive life with their owners. That's what it's all about. And Yay, it was it's so uh, important. It was allowed by Ali'i Animal Hospital, the brand new veterinary hospital right off award. So thank you very much for that. Yay, right on, they need it too. So Anthony, as we are winding our show down, we know that there are a lot of individuals that don't like to use the computer or iPad to get the information. What are you offering those folks who prefer the one-on-one -on -one individualized rolling sessions? And what else does the private session entail? Well, when we have someone who's like, I don't want to do the computer, can you come over? And as you can see here, I take images, I take pictures of my clients as after I teach them how to do these things with towels or other modalities. And of course, when I'm rolling them out, we're both masked and typically the doors are open, the wind is blowing. But what this does, it allows those people that 
They don't want to get on the computer. They'd rather see me in person. I gov, I, I put my mask on. I have my alcohol spray bottle, so everything's sanitized. And I'm still able to bring health to those people who don't want to use the computer. And the private session, it's about an hour long. And it depends on what you bring to the table. If I need to start slow, we start slow. If you want to learn more, then I give you what you ask for. But other than that, it's smooth as silk. Wow. So though for those of you, take that screenshot of all that information so that you know how to get in touch with Anthony or get in touch with us at Think Tech Hawaii. And we will get you connected so that you can take your health back with Fashionator and rolling out your bodies. So, but for right now, Anthony, our time has come to an end and we must say goodbye and aloha and continue doing the great work that you've always been doing. We appreciate you. We mahalo you, Anthony. Aloha. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha.